In this video, I'll show you the mods that I'm using for Fabric to three times or even 10 times my performance and my FPS. This video is not going to have any fancy editing. It's going to be very on point. And if you stick with me to the very end, I'm also going to teach you how to automatically update these mods with just one click. So the first mod I'm using, it's called Concurrent Chunk Management Engine. It will simply optimize how the map is loaded. The map is divided into different chunks, and this one will simply make Make it run using more of your CPU threads. Every modern computer has today a lot of CPU threads. And if you compare the performance of Minecraft Java edition and Minecraft Bedrock edition, you'll notice that the Bedrock loads the map significantly faster and you can even tweak it to load way, way, way further than in Java. And it's because the poor optimization in Java. So this mod aims to patch that problem. It doesn't really pair up the same as, it doesn't really stick up to the same level as Bedrock rock but it's going to provide you with a significant performance boost the next mod i'm using it's called dynamic fps it'll simply adjust fps so minecraft doesn't hog resources in the background so when i play minecraft on my laptop computer and i minimize the window this mod is going to slow the game down so that it doesn't lack or cause excessive battery drain mod number three i'm using is called entity cooling this will simply hide monsters and uh, dynamic blocks with data for example furnaces that are behind you simple explanation it's going to save a lot of performance especially on laptops next mod i'm using is called ferrite or ferrite core this will simply reduce memory usage I don't understand how it works high level, but I know when I run it, my Minecraft uses less memory. Next one is called Immediately Fast. Now, this mod actually has many, many optimizations. Similarly to Optifine, it does a lot of background optimizations on the way, and you'll notice a slight FPS boost from it. Next mod I'm using is called Iris. This is to load shaders. If you know Optifine, which you obviously do, you can boot up shaders and you can do the same exactly through Iris. Next one is called Kenny TV's Epic Force Close Loading Screen Mod for Fabric. This one, if you connect to a server, there's a little bit of a delay and the screen fades away. What this mod do, it'll remove the screen so that you are immediately joined to the server or immediately joined to the world. It's going to save you maybe one or two seconds each time, but it'll stack up. I'm a plugin developer. I have to do the same goddamn thing 300 times per hour sometimes. So this mod can save me a lot of time. Next mod is called Krypton, which aims to optimize the Minecraft networking stack, which simply means you are going to experience less delays, less lag connecting to a micro server. This can actually be also installed on the server side as well. However, it requires then uh, you to run a fabric server instead of bucket or spigot or paper. Next mod is called Lithium. Lithium works great together with another mod that I'll just cover right now too. It's called Sodium, which is actually one of the most popular fabric mods, which simply works just as Optifine does. Uh, it also brings you a new option screen. As you can see, this one is actually created by Lithium and Sodium. And overall, I think that using Sodium and Lithium does the biggest performance increase. So these are the two core mods that I definitely recommend. Next mod is called Minecraft. If you don't know what Minecraft is, God save you. Next mod is called Mod Menu, which actually creates this screen, which I am uh, showing you right now. So it's going to add the mods panel. Next mod is called No Chat Reports. Not really a performance mod, but I guess it is because it maybe increases the performance a tiny bit, but it's very important because it removes and it strips, strips out cryptographic signatures from player messages, which is a really good privacy feature. Anyways, this is all that there is to it. I promised you at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a bonus. So if you Google Fabric Mod Updater, you should see the first link, mcmodupdater.versal. And what you can do here, if I open up my mods folder, let's say I want to update all of these mods and I don't have to go to mod rinf and do it manually for each. You can just select all, drag them over, select fabric, select the version, click update, and it's going to automatically compare the version from mod rinf. And then down below, you can just hit download all, and then it'll give you a zip. And then you can just delete the mods inside and drag over the new versions of your mods. Saves you a lot of time. You can do it once a week to make sure that you your mods are up to date. Now, if you want to learn to become an independent developer, please, please, please don't do this alone. Get our help. 
because going out at this alone is like an insane asylum. There's just so much stuff. There's most of it is updated. Most of it is actually very poor coding standards. That's why we made Mine Academy. That's why I made the school in the last seven years. And in that school, I teach you Java. I teach you micro plugin developer uh, development. I teach you how to make Forge and Fabric mods. And best of all, I'm on there twice per week to specifically help you if you need with your specific use case, with your specific code so you can jump on a live zoom call unmute yourself and we can have a conversation where i see your code and i can navigate you to help you i'll leave a link to that course in the video description otherwise i hope that you enjoyed this quick video i hope that these mods will be helpful to you subscribe to this channel for more cool stuff like that and i will see you guys next time take care